explain the use of the async and await keywords in javascript it is very important to know the role of the async and await keywords in javascript okay so here is the code where one function delay accepts millisecond time as a parameter and then returning a promise which is uh, printing this running statement inside the code by the that timeout asynchronous function now let's see the async await code here is an async function greet the role of this async keyword is to make the whole method run asynchronously okay what it means is when i will execute this here is the output then then the starting will be printed then this delay function will be called with the two two thousand milliseconds as a parameter now because this is an async method this delay function will not block the code and therefore not blocked will be executed in the output you can see that after the start not block is printed this is the benefit of the async keyword it will make your complete method asynchronous now the point is what is the role of the await keyword here okay after printing not blocked here you can see the await delay function call again now this await keyword is required to block the code until this delay method is completed okay so it might be that this delay method is getting some data which is very important and that data we might have to print later that's why listen carefully we intentionally use await keyword to block or to wait for the response of the delay method now in the output you will see this running statement from inside the delay method and only then after this block uh, will it be printed and in the output the last statement running is coming from the above delay call of two second which was uh, asynchronous and a not blocker right because it did not block anything that's why we completed after it's completed after two seconds which is at the end now finally the definition of async and await keyword is the async keyword is used to define a function as an asynchronous function which means the code inside the async function will not block the execution of the code of other code but 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 at some points inside the async method we want the executions to be in a synchronous manner only therefore at those points we need await keywords the await keyword is used within an async function to pause the execution of the function until a promise is resolved or rejected so that is the whole story about the two brothers whose name are async and await